<laughs> no, some people in the comments keep saying, oh my god, why isn't your hair growing back? It's been ages. And I'm like, I don't, I don't know. It, I mean, it's not like I keep shaving it every week or some. All right, you know what it is? It's one of those videos where I just rant about random shit that's supposed to sound deep, but it's not really deep. Or maybe it is. I, I just have too many random thoughts. Either way, there's a painting in the back, so if this is boring as fuck, you still get something out of it. So I have this channel on my Discord called Daily Questions, where people just ask me stuff and I answer. And I mean, I don't really go there every day, but you know, it's still called Daily Questions. So somebody asked me there, do you have a lot of self-judgment and anxiety when posting all this art on Instagram? And I was immediately gonna reply yes, because my whole life is literally just self-judgment and anxiety. But then I kind of thought about it for a minute and I'm like, no, I guess I don't really have that with my art anymore. And then I kind of felt proud of myself. I was like, shit, look at me being all healthy and shit. And then I started questioning myself, like, how did that even go away? Because I distinctly remember being anxious and self-judging literally every time I post on piece on Instagram and being like, oh my God, is this the right artwork to do? Like, what are people going to think of me? And then I realized I'm so insecure about my YouTube videos and I have so much anxiety towards how people are going to perceive my personality that I don't even have enough energy to care about my art. Like, that would be like you having cancer and then come couple of pimples pop on your face and people are like wow how do you deal with all this acne on your face <laughs> bitch I'm gonna die in six months uh, who cares about some pimples okay maybe that was not a good example but you know I guess I just realized I'm not really that healthy and then I started questioning myself well why am I so self-conscious about my videos but not about my art and then I almost became like jealous of myself I was like man I wish I didn't care what people think about my videos the same way I didn't care about my art. Like I'm paying somebody to answer my Instagram comments. Like I don't I don't even look at them. Okay, maybe that doesn't speak that well of me and my brand, but when people say like, oh my god, I love your art, I'm like, bitch, tell me you love me. Tell me you think I'm funny. Uh, who cares about that art? And with YouTube, I read every single comment, I overthink everything, I tell myself I'm gonna be more natural, and then I go play this fucking character, and then I get like three negative comments, and I fucking lose my mind. Like I literally went through this fucking depression just because I thought that my video wasn't congruent to what people think that I think I should be. And it's like, why am I so sensitive with my videos, but not with my art? And of course, a big part of it is that with videos, you put a lot more of yourself out there. Like when somebody says they don't like your art, they don't really know you. But with videos, it's like, uh, I really don't like you. Like just in general. But something definitely changed because I remember having the same insecurity with art and now I kind of don't. And I think what happened is that the art became a part of like something bigger. Like in the past when I was posting a painting, I didn't really have a direction that I wanted to go towards. Like I was just posting to get followers and for people to think I'm cool. And I think that's where all the toxic feelings come from because you don't really have a goal. Like you're just doing it purely out of passion. You're like, oh, I'm just going to create some art and people are going to enjoy it. So it's kind of like you start identifying yourself with what you created. So of course you're going to be overprotective of it. Like that's your baby. Like other people's babies is ugly as fuck, but yours, yours is perfect. And people got to know that. And I feel the same way about my YouTube channel, like when I make videos, I make all these little jokes and cuts and shit. And my favorite thing in the world is when somebody posts a timestamp of something funny that I said and I'm like, yes, appreciate it. And I think that's what passion is. Like you just create something because you like it and you're passionate about it. And people always say like, oh, you need passion. You need to be passionate. You need to like what you're doing. And don't get me wrong, that can definitely work for a while, but eventually that shit is just going to run out and you're going to quit or it's just going to drive you insane. Like passion is really like a four-year-old kid driving a bus. Like he doesn't really know where he's going. He's hitting people. He's driving over them and he's like, whoa, this is so fun. But eventually he's gonna crash 
great. I just made that four-year-old sound like a sociopath. So I think that's where the word purpose comes in. And I fucking hate all these people on motivational videos like, oh, you gotta find your purpose. You gotta find how you can help other people. Man, motherfuck out of people. I'm depressed as fuck. I'm trying to help myself. And I feel like the word purpose has kind of lost its meaning because of its overusing. Like the word God. Like, oh, I have a purpose. Yeah, go drink another Starbucks, you fucking goof. For me, purpose just means something that you like doing and it's going in a definite direction direction and you have a definite plan you're not just doing it because you fucking want to like you have a goal and i think that's why passion is bad when it comes to art because the problem is not really that you don't like drawing the same way that the problem is not really that i don't like making funny videos the problem is that i don't really know why i'm doing it and when it's not really hit it anywhere, you just start judging yourself like, oh, is that the right video to make? Should I make another one? And God forbid if somebody actually says something bad and you start questioning your whole fucking reason of why you're doing it in the first place. Am I overthinking this? I might be. And I'm not saying that you're just gonna hear me say this and you're gonna be like, oh, I just need a plan, okay. And then everything is gonna be easy as fuck because it's not. And when I was in that depression two weeks ago, just fucking doubting myself again, like, man, what type of video should I be making? What are people gonna think of it? Should I maybe take a break? One of my best friends gave me the best advice ever. He was like, just make a video, any fucking video, because you told yourself you're gonna post once a week, so just just follow the schedule and it's gonna pass and I think that's what purpose is like you just do whatever you have to do because you have to not because you want to do it at the moment like you want the end goal you want to become the person that you want to become but sometimes it just doesn't feel right at the moment and you still gotta do it and I think that's what's wrong with passion like you just get so used to doing it whenever you're passionate about it and then when you're not it just doesn't make any fucking sense and also with being an artist you know you're fucking passionate like that's the whole thing about art you feel like you got something to say whether it's drawing or poetry or twerking but that's why I feel like it's especially dangerous for an artist to rely on passion because sometimes you kind of want it too much and that will stop you from doing it like I want my videos to be the funniest they can be but sometimes I feel like they cannot be as funny as I envision them to be so I don't even want to record them in the first place does not make any fucking sense. And with painting, it's completely the opposite. Like, I don't care how my painting is going to be received. I just do it so I can grow my brand, get better, and coach more people, and earn more money. Like, I'm not really passionate about it. I mean, I enjoy it sometimes, but mostly I just do it because it's part of the bigger purpose. And again, I don't think that can happen with you just being aware about it. Like, oh, okay, I'm going to find my purpose right now. Like, I think your purpose is going to grow as you grow yourself, but what I think is important is that you have a loose plan and you take action towards it according to your schedule and then as you keep progressing you're gonna start caring about different things but I think it's important to elevate your vision and actually give yourself a more clear purpose like in the beginning all I cared about was just being good at drawing and that's what I was self-conscious about but then when I kind of elevated it to more of a business and a personal brand I stopped caring about the art because it's like I got bigger stuff to worry about now and I think the anxiety and worry is always gonna be there like that's part of the game But I think the difference is that when you're doing something out of passion You have anxiety and worry that only gets worse with time and it doesn't really get you anywhere But when you're doing it out of purpose, even if you have worry and anxiety It's actually making you better and I think some people definitely need some passion in their life, but again, if you're an artist, I actually feel like you got too much fucking passion and it's actually holding you back. Anyway, don't pay too much attention to what I say because I don't even know what I'm trying to say half the time. And plus, I'm sure I'm going to be back twerking my ass in like a week. But I just struggle a lot with this YouTube shit and just life in general, so I can't just do normal tutorials. Plus, I swear I saw like... Two people say they got inspired by my rants. So if there's something you want me to talk about that you struggle with in your art journey like art block or anxiety or how to twerk for money on Twitch, make sure you write it in the comments and I'm going to make a video about it because I think I know everything. And thank you to all my patrons for supporting me and allowing me to not get a job and stay home all day and overthink this life shit and be depressed as fuck. Woo!